Yes, welcome back to the six o'clock show where we've joined Aoife Noonan in the kitchen. Aoife, remind us what you're making. So I'm going to be making these lovely little rhubarb and custard trifles with some orange blossom and pistachios as well. Okay. They look so nice little individual gorgeous. kind of for the weekend maybe, for Mother's Day. Oh, really yeah. nice spring, you springtime dessert. can't forget the dessert. girls this weekend. That's right, that's no. Sunday. Um, so rhubarb and custard. We want to start with the custard. I'm making a homemade custard. It's always better homemade. Um, and I'm just going to pop a few ingredients in a saucepan here, oh. make a custard okay. from scratch. So I've got milk, well that's cream actually, and milk, <laughs> milk and cream. Even parts, equal parts, milk and uh, cream? Yes, okay. and then I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla because I absolutely love vanilla custard. So this Gorgeous. is a vanilla pod. You can use the extract if you want to, yeah, um, but I like to see the little specks of the vanilla pod Lovely. through the custard. And do you just use the seed or do you use the husk as well? I don't use this part. I could infuse it if I wanted to, but I'm actually going to use this in the rhubarb part okay. just to infuse. So while that's nice. coming up to temperature, we just want to bring it to a simmer. And then I'm going to pour that on top of some egg yolks and some sugar. And that's essentially our custard. So once that's coming up, let me see if it's on. Yeah. I mean, for convenience, up. people will buy the packet. Yes, but, but there's nothing like making your own. To make. Well, if it doesn't curdle, if you don't boil yeah, it up and the thing the turns thing. into scrambled eggs, exactly. yeah. 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 minding, does it, just to make sure We need it to watch it. Hot. So while that's coming up to a simmer, when it comes to a simmer, I'm going to pour it on my eggs and then I'm going to pour it back in the pan on a low heat and we cook that until it's thickened. So that'll take a few Gorgeous. minutes. So while that's coming up, probably take another minute or two, I'm going to get onto the rhubarb. So I'm going to poach my rhubarb and I'm going to just make a really quick simple syrup. So I use two to one water and sugar. So this is about 200 grams water, 100 Nails. sugar. Yeah. Okay. And okay. we can put our vanilla pot in there and that will just kind of infuse into mm. the syrup. Yes. And then I'm going to add a few other ingredients to my syrup. So rhubarb loves orange. I'm going to use a little bit of orange juice and this is actually a blood orange, which they're still in season I just about. I haven't seen one like that. That's a yeah, good orange, isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, really lovely ingredient. Um, and I'm also going to use some orange blossom water. So this is not like an orange extract. It's, um, it's actually taken from the uh, flowers of the orange tree. Um, mm. And it's really floral. It's not as kind of harsh as, you know, orange extract, but it's really kind of light, subtle. And are you and familiar with the orange tree? Yes, indeed, and the orange, the orange flowers and the or orange flower water is, is quite different. It's, it's nearly like, I suppose, what would you call them? You know, they're those jelly sweets that you get, the, the um, uh, Turkish light ones. Oh, yeah, 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 really kind, light kind and of subtle, but yeah, kind yeah, of floral. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, so we don't yeah. want to add too much because it will overpower, overpower. the whole yeah. thing. Okay. So once that's kind of coming to a simmer, we can add in our rhubarb. So I've just chopped up some rhubarb, and that's going to poach for about 10 minutes, and what's going to happen is it's going to cook down um, into a lovely compote, okay? Mm. So what I want to do is actually keep the juice in there and strain off the actual rhubarb. So that'll break down. We want to cook it to a really lovely jammy compote. Um, and then we'll have the compote and then we'll also have a bit of syrup. So I've actually strained it off here. I've cooked one already and I've strained it off and I've got some lovely compote there. See, it's really lovely and soft. Mm. And this is actually the juice. That's the color ah. of the juice. So I'm gonna actually soak my sponge fingers in that syrup. So I'm not wasting anything, I'm gonna use that. And that will have that lovely orange blossom flavor or vanilla. Um, and also uh, the, the rhubarb flavor is in that juice as well. Mm. So that's gonna poach away. That's kind of what it looks like okay. <laughs> after about 10 right. minutes and we wanna cool it down. And I'm coming back here to my custard. So that's turned off. So we, what we want to do is pour, turn it back down to a lowish heat, pour that hot milk cream vanilla, and the vanilla smells gorgeous, mm. well, into our is, egg. And you don't want that to scramble because that can happen. So you need to be extra careful. Yes, so then we turn it down, we turn the heat down and we pour it back into the saucepan. And then after a few minutes, it will thicken. Um, and if you want to be really specific, you can use a thermometer. It comes up to about 75 degrees. That's when you know the egg is cooked. Um, and it will thicken. And then we want to cool it down completely. And then once it's cooled down completely, we have this gorgeous custard. So, OK, it's a process. It takes more than, you know, the seven minutes we have. But that's what it looks like. And you can see the really lovely um, specks of vanilla yeah. in there. And I would just eat that like that. <laughs> uh, it's really, really so delicious. Yum. So let's assemble the... Yeah trifle. So I've got some 
of my little sponge fingers. So these are just the, you know, the trifle sponges. I know I haven't seen them in a while, gosh. And this is gonna soak up that really lovely uh, rhubarb flavor, the orange blossom, all of that. And I mean, it does make it pink, which is nice. Mm. Um, and I'm just gonna layer up my trifle. So I'm, you know, layering it up in a little cocktail glass here. You can do it in any kind of serving glass in a bowl is nice as well. So about, you know, a sponge finger or two per portion, I would say. Very that nice. goes on the bottom. And then I want to just push that down. So it'll soften then as well. Mm -hmm. And we can top it with a bit of custard, rhubarb and custard, classic combination. So this thickens then as it cools down. So it's really lovely and thick. Oh my gosh, it's so decadent. But it's quite light as well. It's not over kind of powering and the, the tartness from the rhubarb will come through as well. So it'll all kind of, kind of balance. So then there are lovely rhubarb compote, just a few little kind of blobs here and there. And then you can finish with a little bit of whipped cream if you like, just some kind of sweetened whipped cream. And I like to pop a few little pistachios on top as well. Okay. Rhubarb and pistachios, lovely combination. And the green just looks gorgeous and it also gives it a really nice crunch. And then if you want it to be, you know, really celebrate spring, we've got some edible flowers as well here. Just make sure they're edible. You're not taking them from the garden. Uh, <laughs> and that is it. That is the rhubarb. So custard pretty. Pretty. And pansies, is it? I have a few pansies here and the purple ones are Campanula. Oh, Campanula. <laughs> I'm trying to remember Campanula. the name. <laughs> like, You're on the spot here. They are edible. Campanula. 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 That's Thank it. You. All the pens on one side of the river here, Pam, Aina. Exactly. Um, just Aina, just have a little point. taste there. Pop one over, Eva, yeah. to Aina. I'm getting to eat them for it. I never get to eat anything. Yes, yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Uh, Are you having one? Yeah. And I'm having one. Well, 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 just before you tuck in, uh, ah, Mary asks, why prim, her, well, primroses are getting eaten by sparrows? Any advice? Well, either shoot the sparrows or not the primroses. <laughs> so what's wrong with that? Should they be let the sparrows have it? They're vegetarian birds. Mm -hmm. And obviously they, they find some nutrients in this that they need. And sure, look, what's a few, what's a few um, um, primroses really? Because sparrows are actually under threat. We haven't as many sparrows as so we have. So don't be shooting them. So leave, <laughs> no, that was a joke. Don't shoot the sparrows. No, 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 put up with it. Put up with it. All yeah, right, that's it. the advice. Put Should up with it. Yeah, yeah. Cover, the, cover your pot, I don't know, it's bad or something. That's it. No nonsense advice from Aina. As always, we're out of time for tonight. Huge thank you to our guests tonight, Jarlath Regan, Sam Fender, Aina Lena, and of course, Aoife for this beautiful dessert. Which uh, Aina is tucking into. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow when we'll be joined by one-fifth of the iconic family music group, The Osmonds. Until then, stay safe and enjoy the rest of your moment. Good night. Bye.